Welcome to Financial Futures, your go-to channel for all things related to securing your financial future. Today, we're diving deep into the latest updates surrounding Social Security and how they could impact you. First up, let's talk about those $5,000 Social Security checks that some recipients are set to receive. I'll break down who qualifies for these checks and how they were able to secure them. Plus, we'll explore the latest bill introduced in Congress that aims to cut federal taxes and extend funds for Social Security until 2054. This bill has been gaining a lot of attention lately, and I'll give you the inside scoop on what it entails. But that's not all we'll also take a closer look at some alarming developments in Congress regarding Social Security. There's talk of intentional actions to withhold Social Security from beneficiaries, including children. Congress discussing H.R. 2100, a bill that aims to increase Social Security checks for every American and reform the entire program. It's essential to stay informed about these discussions as they could directly impact your financial well-being. Throughout the video, I'll share some key comments from viewers and provide my insights on the matter. We'll discuss why Social Security benefits are being taxed, whether high earners should receive larger checks, and the potential impact of proposed bills on your Social Security income. If you appreciate staying updated on Social Security news and want to ensure you're prepared for whatever the future holds, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Financial Futures for more informative content. Today, we're diving deep into the hot topic of $1,000 monthly checks for everyone, rebranded as Social Security for All. But hold on a sec, what's in a name? Do you think slapping the label Social Security on this program is fair game or a bit of a stretch? Let's break it down together. Now let's unpack this $1,000 monthly check situation. Essentially, it's a form of guaranteed basic income, but they're dressing it up as Social Security for everyone. But here's the kicker. Social Security traditionally serves a specific group whereas this new program aims to cast a wider net. Sounds a bit off, right? I want to hear your take on it. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Personally, I find it a tad disrespectful to those who've put in years of hard work paying into the social security system. It's like saying, hey, here's your slice of the pie, even if you didn't help bake it. Not cool. And here's the kicker, this program hasn't even launched yet. But why the sudden push for a nationwide guaranteed basic income? Simple. Money's tight for pretty much everyone these days. We're all feeling the pinch, and some extra cash in our pockets wouldn't hurt. But wait, there's more. Ever heard of a negative income tax? It's another proposal floating around where the IRS would actually pay you if your income falls below a certain threshold. Talk about turning the tables on taxes. So yeah, there's a ton of ideas swirling around, all aimed at giving folks a financial leg up. It's a wild ride out there, but hey, we're in it together. Stick around, hit that subscribe button, and let's navigate this financial jungle as a team. Until next time, stay savvy, stay informed, and I'll catch you in the next one.